Dwayne Gill, the comedy cop, is here with us on a Friday through our AT&T microphones right across the table. Welcome back, sir. Good morning, MPS. How, how are you? How come you're not in Dubuque or Peoria or any of these other great <laughs> comedy towns that you visit? Well, you know, usually I'm, I am off on Fridays, but um, today is a great day. Today is a graduation of the 128th Michigan State Police Recruit School. Ah, the Lansing so, Center? Yes, and I am going there today to support those new young uh, 62 recruits. And uh, I, we as an agency are just excited about it. So and we're re- recruiting right now, and Governor, that's where I'm at. So. Governor Snyder will be the keynote speaker. I'm sure he is. That's what I hear. He does a great job. What kind of person are you looking for when you recruit uh, troopers? Well, right now, you know, we're looking for. Um, and and again, um, only this is a, this is just a plug. <laughs> we're definitely looking for a diversity within MSP. Uh, we're definitely looking for diversity. We're looking for uh, folks that represent the state of Michigan. We're looking for people that have a, a strong desire to serve. Bottom line. Very good. Yeah, but that I'm off today. Nice. So yeah, so but I want to come come to graduation. I want to come in and see you. And uh, but uh, we're going to be talking about uh, me in Ann Arbor this weekend. Yeah, you have a lot. You're going to be all over the place. So you're here. You see, that's the funny part. I guess you're in Lansing yeah. today in the afternoon, Ann Arbor in the evening. Yes. And yesterday or a couple of days ago on the Jet Express ferry that goes to Put In Bay, it's right. like, kind of like the Mackinac ferry. Right. I guess there was a big brawl. And it was all started between Ohio State and Michigan fans. Oh, awesome. Michigan won, right? Right on the ferry. <laughs> on the ferry. <laughs> We're going to find out from the guy who promotes the ferry <laughs> a little bit later. But you're going to be in two rival towns, too, Lansing yeah. and Ann Arbor. Yeah, and I love going down there because I'm going to definitely talk about uh, Ann Arbor being uh, the town that it is, uh, the People's Republic. And Which is uh, <laughs> funnier. But, but yeah, see, but pot is decriminalized down there, right? Yeah, well, you know, eh, we... I'm sure they got a whole lot of other things to worry about than a little little 420 spliff, smoky smoke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They got a way a little more. But I, I don't know, man. You know, when I get down there, I'm just gonna tell the jokes, man. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like the guy from that old commercial, time to make the donuts, man. When I get yeah. down there, man, it's just time to make just, the jokes, just, baby. Just turn on the funny, and that's Bam. it. Bam. You know, what just like you when you go to Kenneth Buckport. <laughs> and you tell the jokes. Don't you like the way that word sounds, Kenneth Buckport? Just like saying that. Word. I like saying it. I'm gonna hang out Kenneth Buckport. We talked before about the letter K in comedy. Yes, and the letter K is funny. K- 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 something about it. Yes. So Kenny Bunkport, Kenny it's Bunkport. a funny word to it say, like Bally Bunyan. In yeah. Ireland. That's another <laughs> good Kalkaska. one. Or Kalkaska. <laughs> See, this is something about the science in the letter K. Only town spell with three Ks. Mm-hmm. That's right, buddy. So <laughs> you, uh, uh, you coached me when I went uh, and emceed the George Herbert Walker Bush Liberty Gala. Yes, sir. Again in June, and I did comedy for the second year in a row, which they've never had before. Right. And they liked it. Good. To me, the uh, what you coached me was to practice it over and over yep. and over and over. So somebody listening right now who has to give a sales presentation or a rotary speech, your advice is the best thing is to just do it 100 times. Yep, do it as many times as you can. Get as many reps in. Uh, for me, um, I don't have to really practice much anymore because yeah. I got my act down. The only time that I have issues is when I'm trying to introduce a, a new piece of material and then I just trying to memorize it. So I try to go over it as many times as I can or at least know the essence of the idea of the joke. Like I got a new joke I'm doing right now where I talk about uh, Father's Day. Every you know, Nobody gets any dads don't they get disrespected on father's day fathers just get disrespected anyway you can see it even in t- television like that commercial with joan london you know a place for mom remember yeah. <laughs> you ever seen that commercial no, what happened yeah it's just called a place for mom you know where you can put your mom in an elderly home i'm like where's this place for dad where where's oh, he at yeah, in no. the basement the yeah. garage you know on a boat in the driveway like danny glover and lethal <laughs> weapon where is dad at you know <laughs> You know, something like that. So I'm working on it. Uh, so um, and my two favorite parts of doing that kind of thing are, one, the first joke, or and the first laugh is what I mean. And that yes. better come with the first joke. That better come out the gate in like 10 that's seconds, right. baby. <laughs> Once you get that, then then that's a relief. Yes. And then when I get close to the end of the act, yes. when I know I pulled it off and I maybe got one or two more to go, yes. that's a good sense that's of relief, sense. too. Yeah, and it could all be filler BS in the middle. Yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> You know, it's funny that you say that because it's, uh, I think, Father Mark Inglet, who gives a homily almost every weekend, mm-hmm. does a very good job of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, he says the same thing. He says the front and the back are the important parts because that's all they remember. The middle right. can, yeah, can yeah. wander. Exactly, exactly. The that's front and the true, back. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Like for me, um, obviously, uh, my come out line now is, is promoting my new CD that's coming out. My new CD is called Totally Doable. <laughs> and uh, yeah, see, it makes you, you, it makes you laugh about right yourself. There. Yeah, well, what I do is when I go on stage, I usually say, "I say, I know you guys are doing." It's so funny when you go on stage. I know what you guys are doing. You're judging me. I said, "All the guys are looking at me, saying 
is he funny? Right. And all the ladies are looking at me saying, totally doable. <laughs> so, <laughs> and that's the name of the CD. That's the name of the CD. Dropping on uh, here in the next Two couple weeks. of weeks, probably August. I'm trying to get it uh, released on August the 7th. It's going to be up to iTunes when they want to put it out, but I'm going to uh -huh. have a CD release party here at the Tavern and Pump. Oh, yeah? Uh, yeah, on August the 7th from 6 to 9, absolutely. No kidding. So yeah. when you say that you're putting out a CD, are you literally putting out a, a disc? Or yes. it goes through all through the uh, iTunes? It's gonna, I'm just going to be on iTunes, Spotify, Pandora, Amazon. It's going to be on every digital platform. Right. I'm going to also have hard copies that I'm going to be selling at my CD party as well as at, uh, at comedy shows when I do them across the country. The Dwayne Gill's store is going to open up. Yes, and then, and not only that, but uh, it's going to be featured on Sirius XM, and it'll be on uh, Satellite Radio, on uh, on Comedy Raw Dog, Comedy XL, Foxhole, and uh, hopefully Laughs USA. All right, so that'll be in, in two Fridays we can debut that. Yeah, I don't absolutely. Know, is it is it, uh, is it blue at Ooh, all? Ooh, is it blue? Is it blue? <laughs> Lenny Bruce, is it blue? <laughs> Are you going to be the new Lenny Bruce? <laughs> See, look, you laughing because you know who Lenny Bruce is. Yeah, it's it's uh, like some 18-year-old on TV is like, who the heck is Lenny is, Bruce? Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the Beatles. Is he Eddie Murphy? Is yeah, he Eddie 18, Murphy? How about 29? I have no idea right, what you're right, talking 18, about. 18, 20. Lenny Bruce. Lenny Bruce. <laughs> <laughs> See, that just sounds funny, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't say it on the We can't, probably can't play it yeah, on the Yeah, you can. Air. It'll be pieces Parts that you it? can play. I'll make sure you get a copy, Michael. Okay. Us autograph, <laughs> signed copy. Absolutely. Totally that, doable. That Dwayne Gill. Be nice. And uh, your web address is? Dwayne Gill. Com, baby. And where in Ann Arbor? I'm going to be at the Ann Arbor Comedy Showcase. AAComedy.com. You can get tickets. AAComedy.com. Where is that? Uh, right downtown Ann Arbor, right on 4th, 4th Street uh, between Liberty and Washington. And you're, you're on tonight? Yeah, I'm on tonight, 8 o'clock and 1030. In and Arbor. tomorrow, 8 o'clock. Uh, Tony's coming. I'm oh, going right. to be there tomorrow night, absolutely. Tomorrow night. Because yes. he's going for the beer fest? Yes, he's going for the beer fest. That's tonight, so i got to space it all out. Beer yeah. fest yeah. and the Dwayne fest. Yeah. There you go, baby. Lenny Bruce. <laughs> Lenny Bruce and Kenny Bunkport. <laughs> and Belly Bunyan. <laughs> Back with more of a Firekeeper's Casino Friday through the AT&T microphones with Michael Patrick Shields.